Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out a fresh off the truck 2015 Nissan Leaf S. And the reason why I had to grab it as soon as it got off the truck with all the packaging on it is because these things are very popular and they sell quick. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and get some of this stuff out of the way so we can check it out more in detail. But I just want to show you what it looks like with all the packaging material on it. when it comes from the factory. You see the seats are all covered up. The doors are covered up. Alright, so let's check it out. Imagine getting 126 miles per gallon. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Well, this is an electric car. It's the 2015 Nissan Leaf. And this car is all electric and gets an, an, an estimated, if you, were to, if you were to compare it to the fuel consumption as far as cost, of 126 miles per gallon. This is an amazing car. It has plenty of power, take off. Uh, the handling is superb. It's super easy to drive. The steering, the brakes, the air conditioning, uh, the visibility is great. Uh, really amazing car. And I would love to own one of these myself in the near future. All right, so let's check it out. This was kind of a base model. It does have the steel wheels with hubcaps. But it does say this one does save you some money as far as um, some of the features. Now, um, as far as bells and whistles, this does have some bells and whistles. Not super basic. You see, it has the LED lights there in the back, uh, driving lights. And this is a very aerodynamic car. Uh, it has a coefficient of drag of better than a Porsche. 918 spider so this one slips through the air just a little bit better than that uh, super sleek sports car and part of that is because it does not have any place for air to go in the front the front is um, basically more so for um, for airflow a lot of vehicles have to have this huge radiator place it does have a place there at the bottom but, um, but most of the air is, is channeled around the vehicle and the shape of the vehicle was designed to, um, to give you the best range uh, with the electricity that you have in your battery. So here in the front, we have kind of a juke-like um, headlight that kind of sticks up there. So the headlights appear to be halogen. I can't find the actual uh, technologies used in the headlights on the window sticker so I'm assuming that they are halogen they kind of look like that C please correct me if they're wrong if I'm wrong if they're uh, HIDs or um, maybe some sort of form of LED they don't they don't look like it and this one above here is a halogen bulb there so that's why I'm making that assumption so it says zero emission on the side of the vehicle it is not it's not emitting any kind of exhaust whatsoever here's the inside of the passenger door you do have uh, like a soft to touch here uh, like a I guess um, similar to like a fake leather and then uh, up here is kind of a hard plastic down here is a carpeting uh, smooth microfiber feeling carpet or cloth got a bottle holder down there speaker in the door You've got the leaf badge in the uh, threshold there. I got the seat back where I was doing some recording while I was driving. But it does have the cloth seats. And it does have um, like a little bit of a texture there in the center. And then the smooth on the outside. The glove compartment always has all the build sheets in it. It's a pretty small glove compartment. Not a huge one, but not too bad. And like I said uh, before, this is 
this vehicle just came off the truck and I did take the pat packaging off of it. If you want to check out the end of the video, I'll um, include a, a sped up version of me taking off, taking off the packaging so you can see what's involved. Now the back seat, let me show you the other side since that seat's um, down, but let's go ahead and look back here. This is the backup camera, as one of the bells and whistles it does have. And uh, those seats will fold down, by the way. But you have all this storage space, cargo area. That's my um, camera equipment there. Don't pay attention to that. And this is a cargo mat here. And then you've got the floor mats, with, which uh, they kind of have like a little bit of a, a, carpet, a thick carpet in the floor mats, which is uh, a little bit unusual. I haven't seen that yet before. In this box right here, this bag, kind of looks like a little backpack, is your charging cables. So you can plug in to a uh, standardized, um, you can plug in your house or you can plug it into a uh, charging port at a, like a Nissan dealership or any, any uh, place like that. Charging station. It does have a really good opening for access in the back of the vehicle and it kind of slants forward a little bit so you can kind of uh, kind of get in there pretty good and, and reposition your stuff or get stuff in and out. I like that. And under here, doesn't appear to be anything of significance. Make sure that's all the way shut. And it does have the zero emission badge back here as well. Here's the window sticker, 126 miles per gallon. That's where I got that number. This is the Leaf S, 100% electric, no gas. So I'm gonna kind of scroll through here so you can get an idea of what's on it. Feel free to use the pause button. And for what I understand, uh, there is some benefits uh, like say tax breaks and stuff like that for buying an electric vehicle now There's some of the packaging left over there on the side but as you can see um, I was I'm about six feet tall and I uh, had the seat positioned for me and you see there is still tons of room for the back passengers legs here in the back So um, it's definitely a roomy vehicle even for the backseat drivers It does have heated side mirrors and they will activate when you turn on the uh, rear defroster. Now this one does have the, um, the intelligent key and um, let me get the key out to show you. There's the key there and um, you can uh, lock the doors, unlock the doors. Now this button here, I'm assuming you can unlock the um, when you when you plug in the charger it, you can have it locked in there to where nobody can just come along and unplug it and and the whole time your car is not plugged in uh, so you can push that and hold it and unlock your uh, charger from the vehicle so that way you can you know when you're done charging or whatever uh, you can you know remove it from the vehicle and get in your vehicle so basically your car will be locked the charger will be plugged into it and you can go out to eat or walk to you know somewhere while it's charging and um, and then that way that you'll know that nobody's gonna come along and just unplug it and the whole time it wasn't charging. But anyways, that's the intelligent key. You just have that in your pocket um, and you can walk up to the vehicle, push this button and this will lock or unlock. So once you push it, uh, it will lock or unlock um, depending on what state it's in at the time. So here's the inside of the driver's door. And on the driver's door, you've got your power windows for your rear and the front, power door locks, side mirror controls, and you see that this vehicle, just because it's electric, doesn't mean it's that much different, other than the shifter, uh, than any other vehicle. So let's hop in and take a look at it. So it's telling me to put my foot on the brake which I have, and push the button. So I'm gonna push that button. All right, so let me shut the door. 
so the air conditioner is on all right so right now it's telling me that the battery is 90 percent charged it gives me an estimated range of 81 miles and uh so the, the main focus of the um the screen here is basically to tell you you know make sure you you know you're not going to run out of juice there now on the left side here it does have the heated steering wheel there's the button for it uh, you can turn there is a timer to where it'll charge for a certain time and then turn off you could turn that off if you want it to just continuously charge and there's an auto lock uh, or manual lock there for the uh, for charging for when you're charging it, it holds it in there this button which let me go ahead and show you now let me turn the vehicle off because uh, I have to be off. Let me go ahead and push that. That opens up the little door to access the charging port. Right here, here in the front. And there it is. And uh, so you can plug it in like that. Plug it in, let it charge. Um, it'll lock itself in place. Like I was saying before, when you're done, you just close it up close this down all right so this button here is your traction control this is uh, basically keeps you stable on the road in wet conditions especially all right let me start it back up so you can kind of see that sequence again Alright, so also, uh, and it, there's the, um, the temperature of the batteries or the, the motor over here um, of the, you know, the vital components. And on the right is your range and your battery life. And it also has there in the center. Now you can change, uh, this, this is a little status bar here. As you're driving, it will go up and down showing you uh, to the right. It's using power. Right now there's a little dot there in those circles. Now if it goes to the right... Uh, that means you're using power. You can see it says power there. To the left of that little dot, if that little dot goes to the left, that means that you're slowing down and it's using the regenerative braking system to charge the battery. So uh, instead of using power, you're generating power. So that's a constant cycle while you're using the vehicle. It's gonna constantly either use or generate power depending on if you're accelerating, driving, normal, or slowing down. So there in the center, where it, where it says 90%, and then you've got that battery looking thing. Um, these buttons over here, this one right here, cycles through a little menu system to give you more information. So I'm going to push that button. Average speed, 6.2 miles per hour, so it hadn't been driven much. And um, the distance, uh, settings, um, you can you know go in there and, and change the settings on the charger and how long you want it to charge, stuff like that. And this is the, um, how long will it take you to recharge it to 100% charge? Estimated time. And that's the uh, average energy economy, sort of like your average fuel economy in, a, in another car. This is how much electricity you're using on, uh, on average. And then it goes back to there. Um, it does have a, you know, you have, do you have a trip? Uh, you can adjust the the brightness with the dimmer switch there but that's a pretty neat all digital gauge there gauges now here on the steering wheel that is a leather wrap steering wheel with stitching on the inside and on the um, on the right here we've got your cruise control you have an eco mode so you can push eco and it'll kind of help you extend your range it's not going to be as quick off the line and all that stuff but um you know we'll you know be able to give you your best range so you can turn that off and on you can see that the range increases and decreases and uh, your cruise control you can um, you can turn it on or off there you can cancel it you can also you know um, set or resume or accelerate or deaccelerate with this little toggle switch here now on the left side we've got uh, your source. Now this is for your radio. You can change through AM, FM, XM radio. Your volume control is there 
and then here is once you pair your phone with the Bluetooth system you can actually receive and send calls with these buttons here it also has some voice commands as well up here this is a separate uh, a gauge system and this shows your speed and the clock and your outside temperature and there to the left um, I think that's your uh, your temperature of your your system I'm not really sure it's not labeled and it kind of corresponds with the temperature of the vehicle so I'm I'm just kind of assuming that so maybe you can kind of clue me in the, on that as well so there's your push button there this is a tilt and telescoping nope just tilt uh, steering wheel so you can get it just right there's the radio now the radio is pretty basic it does have a CD player which I'm kind of surprised but um, surprised that vehicles still have CD players but it's got the AM FM satellite radio your volume your presets there at the bottom also when you put it in reverse it's going to show you your backup camera now I don't know if you can hear that besides this beeping in here there's a beeping outside of the vehicle uh, to let out people behind you know that this is getting ready to back up the reason why it beeps like that is because they don't hear an engine running so they might not think you're actually gonna move um, but the beeping noise kind of clues you know pedestrians and different people in that you're backing up so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in park and then that goes away down here is it does have an auxiliary input as well so down here is your climate control uh, basically your temperature your fan speed air conditioning um, all the stuff that you would normally see in a vehicle all right now you can um, this is for um, you know your air it gives you information about your airbag whether it's on or off uh, depending on the passenger so down here you notice I got my cell phone in this little spot which is absolutely perfect for a cell phone my size I mean it just fits right in there and um, it's easy to access there's tons of room and uh, it's just a really good place for a cell phone now to the left and right let me get my bottle out of the way and the cup holder there but you can see it does have heated seats and you got left you got uh, you got your switches here for your heated seats this is a USB port over here and um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a charger but it may actually play music through the sound system I hadn't tried it but that's what I'm assuming so let me put my water bottle back in the cup holder now here's the shifter a little bit different than uh, the normal shifter on a vehicle it looks different it operates completely different um, but it's basically the same principle it gets you in um, you know the different gears there so you notice it even shows you right here to where it makes it easy uh, to get used to it and it is very easy to get used to so basically you just put it push it over now I'm in drive it's that simple um, if I want to go in reverse, I go like that. If I want to go into park, I just push that. So it's that's it. I mean, it's not it's not super complicated. It's um, the directions are very clear to anybody. Um, they can't even read can can see uh, what gear they can go into. But it just kind of looks different. So people, you know, if you look at it and you're like, wow, that's totally different. Uh, it's not it's not that hard to use at all. There's a little storage pocket there. Now the armrest is a uh, like a fabric, microfiber fabric, similar to what I've found on the side of the door there. And this lifts up, and then you've just got a place to put a bunch of junk, and that's about it there. Now this one just has a regular rear view mirror with a um, with a little flippy thing there to um, to dim it. Place to put your sunglasses is here. Now this has the softest felt I've ever felt, <laughs> softest felt I've ever felt in a um, in one of these where it holds your sunglasses. You do have these little LED lights, which is pretty cool, and you can make it to where it has um, all the interior lights turn on with that button, or the doors when the doors open the lights turn on that kind of thing, or you can do it individually. There's your center dome light. There's the visor with a mirror. Let's check out the other side. 
no lights on this one it does have the little glass pieces there to avoid a blind spot in the front and that um, seems like that would help bolster the the, the the stiffness of the frame to have those extra um, uh, pieces there I don't know what you're thinking. What's underneath the hood? Well, let's find out. There is something under there. And it's not an internal combustion engine. I want to hear it too. So there it is. It's a electric engine. I mean, not an electric engine, electric motor and a battery system. It does have, have a regular car battery, which is a little bit surprising, but I guess that um, that powers certain things um, that needs a step voltage. It's pretty neat. It does make a little bit of noise. And I'm assuming that is because I had the air conditioning on. That's so that noise. You also have some fans there. Uh, so there is some coolant um, that is being uh, cooled down. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting car. It's different. And you don't have to worry about putting gas in it. So that's a, that's a plus. So anyways, if you have any questions, or if you can uh, fill me in on some of the things I'm unaware of, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I think everybody else would too if you're considering buying one of these or if you own one of these and you have some kind of um, something to add um, please share your experience with a electric car of any type really but especially the Nissan Leaf because it is considered the world car um, from what I understand so um, you know you're probably gonna see more and more electric cars on the road and they are they're very practical uh, they're safe and and very very fun to drive so anyways um i really appreciate you watching i also uh, thank grand strand nissan for allowing me to check out this car this is uh, this is very exciting for me to be able to to drive this car and look at it i really am i, I really like the electric cars and the nissan leaf is um, very popular and this is the first one i was able to actually look at in detail so thank you, Grand Strand Nissan, uh, especially you, Victor. You know what I'm talking about. Um, if you guys are interested in a vehicle like this, you ever come to Myrtle Beach area, call Victor. He's a good friend of mine. Um, he's very nice. He's not a pushy guy. He's gonna he'll, he'll answer all your questions, and he'll hook you up with a good deal. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Please help me um, spread the word on my channel. Share, like, subscribe. Um, if you if you can support my channel, I'd really appreciate it. See you next time.
Nissan also has a quick charger. You see it has the, the other port there on the left. And this one charges it. About, I think it's 80 or 90% within 20 minutes. fans and stuff back here so I'm sure there's a lot of a lot of cooling needed just wanted to mention that the Nissan Leaf is a, is a little bit of a unique car so Nissan has this disclosure form that it kind of explains that it is a unique characteristics uh, it does have unique characteristics here and um, so it's interesting that uh, this particular you know they they come out front with you um, and let you know that you know there is certain ranges uh, that it has and that um, the different things that you know you kind of want to pay attention to and let you know that in in advance before you buy it and you actually read it and sign it there when you purchase it so I think that's a really good um, good way of doing business it is a uh, you know it is a great car um, but it is a little bit different so people a Nissan wants people to understand that in advance before they buy it.